Hello, this is Mr. Doral. Today we're going to be talking about limiting reactants using a BCA table. Well, our objective today is to use a BCA table to determine the theoretical amounts of products formed and the amount of excess left over and the limiting reactant. This is going to be a doozy of a problem that I'll be working right here, so you really need to slow it down and follow along with me. Now, if you don't know what a BCA table is, then you might want to check out my video called Stoichiometry BCA, which goes through the basics of a BCA. I'll expect that you already know how to do one right now. So the problem that I'm going to work through right now is just about as detailed as we're going to get in a lot of things we do in chemistry. It has a lot of different calculations in it, and um, I've given you a balanced chemical equation for silver nitrate reacting with calcium chloride to make calcium nitrate and silver chloride. And we're starting with 20 grams of each of these, and we're going to do some calculations to put them into the BCA table. Our goal is that we want to find out how much of the products are going to be formed. Here are the products right here. We want to know how much do we end up with. And we also want to know which one of these two is going to run out first. It looks like neither one is going to run out first, or maybe at the same time if you see the grams. But remember, we have to see how the moles react with each other. Okay, so I did that work over here on the side, changing the 20 grams of silver nitrate into moles using the molar mass 169.88 and I got 0.118 moles of silver nitrate and I did the same for the calcium chloride using the molar mass 110.98 0.180 moles of calcium chloride. So I put those starting moles in for our before right here and you might be thinking well this has got a 2 right there for the two silver nitrates so do we double this? No we take care of that 2 in the change and so we start out with 0 0.180 of calcium chloride, 0 0.118 of silver nitrate, and of course, before the reaction happens, we don't have any of these. Now the question is, which one of these is going to run out first? And it really has to do with the coefficients of the ratio. So you see the ratios say it takes two of these silver nitrates for every one of these. Now maybe you can figure that out in your head and say, oh, I can see right now which one's going to run out first. Great. But sometimes you might be wrong. So we're just going to pick one, and sometimes you can't tell. So you just got to pick one. That's what we're going to do. We're going to pick one, and we're going to try it out. So the one I want to try out is this one. Let's say that the calcium chloride was the limiting reactant. The limiting reactant means the one that is going to run out. So if I put minus 0 0.180, that means I used it all up, then over here I can find out how much silver nitrate that it would take to use that up. So to do that, I could start with this 0 0.180, that's what I had over here for my um, calcium chloride, and then I multiply that by a factor. It's what I had goes on bottom, the coefficient to what I had, the coefficient to the calcium chloride is 1, and to what I want to get to, which is the silver nitrate, on top. So that's a 2 to 1 ratio. So when I multiply these, I find out that the change in this would be negative 0.360. Uh-oh, problem. We don't have 3.60 or 0.360 moles that we can use. So what that is saying is that we don't have enough of this to react all of this. So if we don't have enough of this, this has got to be the one that runs out first. That means this is our limiting reactant. This one's going to be the reactant that's in excess. So let's see, maybe, oh, good, I can get rid of those. So now I know this then. I know that this is the one that's going to run out, so 0 0.0118. And to find out what, how much of this it uses, I would go 0 0.0118 times 1 over 2, because what I want to get to is the calcium chloride. So it's really taking half of that. So that is going to be 0 0.059 on there. And of course, we're using that up, so that's going to be a negative. And now when we look over here on this side, we can go through the factors all again together. But look at this one and this one. They both have 1s in them. This, these are a 1 to 1 ratio. However much this one goes down by, this one's going to go up by. So I'm just going to put right here that this is plus... 0 0.059 and then I am going to do the same thing for 
the silver chloride. This is going to go down by two times or up by two times as much. But this, look at that, a two to two ratio. A couple different ways you can look at it. Just trying to give you a little shortcut right here. So if that's a two to two ratio, then that one is going to change the same as the silver nitrate did, but it's going to go up plus 0 0.118 moles. And so then we can see that this one runs out. That makes our limiting reactant, the one that runs out, is the silver nitrate. AGNO3 because our limiting reactant runs out when it runs out it stops the reaction why because you ran out of one of the reactants and that would then make our excess reactant the CACL2 notice that in the term re excess reactant it's got to be a reactant so it's got to be on this side over here of the arrow it's got to be on the reactant side okay so then we know how much the excess reactant changed by. So we would take this starting number of moles and we would subtract this number of moles that got used up. And so when we do that, we find out that our leftover is 0 0.121 moles of calcium chloride. Then for each of these, you just add these together, 0 0.059 and 0 0.118. All right, now we're almost there. We got a couple other things that we got to do because I don't want to know how many moles I have left over. I want to know how many grams I have left over. And I want to know how many grams I made here and how many grams I made here. All right, well, we can do that. We want to change this moles right here to grams. And so we start with 0 0.121 moles. This is of CaCl2. And so then we put one mole on the bottom is 110.98 from the periodic table grams and we get 13.4 grams of CaCl2 left over. So that's our excess. Then we can do that same thing for the calcium nitrate and the silver chloride and change those over to grams. Okay, so I took the liberty of going ahead, go ahead and working all those out. And I did add an extra zero right here because really should have had one more sig fig on this one. So the 5.0590 used the molar mass for calcium nitrate. I got 9.68 grams. And for the silver chloride, 143.32 was the molar mass, 16.9 grams. Now, one more interesting thing about this is if you add all these up, our two products and our leftover reactant, the total of that, when you add them up, is 39.98 and if you report it in the correct number of sig figs it ends up being 40.0 grams total that's left over which interestingly enough is the same as our mass that we started out with and really it always should be because of the law of conservation of mass mass is not created nor destroyed it's just rearranged i hope this really helps you may have to go back and look through it again if you're working out these problems this is a lot of work on one problem and i hope you can follow along with all that that scribbling on the side all right have a great day Bye bye